So I hate galaxies. Well, that's not really accurate. It's more that galaxies seem to hate me. Now the truth is I don't hate shooting galaxies. The very first galaxy ever shot was the Andromeda galaxy. And that was the photograph that hooked me into this whole thing. When I got that first image of the Andromeda galaxy and it came out looking as good as it did, I was completely hooked. In fact, let's take a look at that first galaxy. This is my very first deep sky photo I ever took. And based upon this galaxy, I got excited and started shooting all the nebulas. And the nebula season, it was awesome. But then galaxy season rolled around and it is kicking my butt. So the first galaxies I wanted to shoot was Markarian's Chain. I let my go-to mount take me to where I thought Markarian's Chain would be. I set the camera up, I got everything going. I was excited because I was going to stay up late. I was going to stay up till 2 a.m. shooting this. I looked in the back of my uh, viewfinder and I did see a galaxy right smack in the middle of the viewfinder. So I assumed I was right on it. I spent the next four hours staying up till 2 a.m., shooting all night. I even took the dark frames and flat frames. The next day when I went to go process it, this is what I got. So as you can see, I completely missed Markarian's chain. I wasted an entire night on that. That's frustrating. I'm going back after Markarian's chain because I think I have the right telescopes for that. I've got the 72 millimeter Apple Chromatic Telescope and I've got a 102 millimeter Acromat. One of those two's gotta be good to capture this target. I'm gonna go back after it in another time. My next galaxy target was the Pinwheel Galaxy. I tried it three times. I tried it with my Acromat. I tried it with my Apple Chromatic Telescope. I got decent information, just not a lot of great detail, but I'm going to take you with me because here's my philosophy. If you don't fail sometimes, you're never going to truly appreciate your successes. So I didn't succeed on this one. I did get something. I'll show you at the end. It's not great. It's not terrible. I'm going to go back after this galaxy, but let's go ahead and head out. I'm going to show you my attempts to get this galaxy. Yeah, we're shooting for the pinwheel galaxy tonight. There's my new picnic table out back. I'm ready for summer over there. Over here we got my setup for tonight for the pinwheel galaxy. I'm using an Acromat tonight. That's the Star Travel 102. It's an Acromatic telescope. My plan for that is I got a new filter. The Bader semi apo filter and I'm hoping that that's going to take care of some of the color aberration problems I have. Some of that purple fringing. Of course I got my power station down below. The EQM35 mount ready to go. I won't be using a field flattener on this because the corners of this photograph aren't going to matter. I'm definitely going to have to crop this in to get any kind of reach. So, hey, looking pretty good here for spring. We got a beautiful day. Roses are growing. Those flowers have closed down for the day, but they're usually up in full bloom. Got the picnic table going, ready for summer. Got the built-in barbecue. I'm ready for summer. Bring on some summer weather. Although right now it is spring, and it is just gorgeous here in Southern California. I think we're sitting around 68 to 70 degrees right now. It's going to be a nice evening. All right, we are one hour in on the Whirlpool Galaxy. Take a look at the graph. The graph's looking really good. Let's come in and take a look at the numbers. Those numbers work for me, so everything's looking really good. I got my polar alignment nice. And we are shooting the Whirlpool Galaxy. Now the key here is I've taken some chalk and I've circled up the spots on the pavement where I put my legs so that once I find the polar alignment, I just bring out my telescope the next night and put them right back in the same spot. And it seems to work out pretty good. Now the other night, right up here, thinking those are called junipers, I don't know, those two tall trees right there, I had a big owl fly in and land on the top of one of those, which was pretty awesome. Just a few minutes ago, I had a hawk fly over my head, which is pretty common here as well. We live here on the edge of the wilderness. I'm in Los Angeles County, but I'm at the very top end of Los Angeles County. So just right there, and you can't see it today, but in the daytime, there's a mountain right there and the wilderness starts right there. So it's pretty cool. And also I've got some pretty dark skies because we are at the edge 
of that wilderness out here. So this way, it's a pretty dark sky. Okay, my, my skies are Bortle Class 5. But when you look south of here, you can already see it. If you come south down that way, we have lots of light pollution because that's down towards Los Angeles and the San Fernando Valley and the Santa Clarita Valley and all of that light. You can see the light pollution right there on top of that house next door. But as you come this way, the skies get dark because there are no houses north of me. And that's where my Bortle Class 5 skies start. And if we drive just an hour north of here, we get to Mount Pinos. And they've got a Nordic ski area, which is great for astrophotography. It's a dark sky spot. People go up there and set up telescopes all the time. In fact, I plan to do that here. Probably in the fall, I'll head up there. Super dark skies is pretty awesome. All right, we're about an hour and a half in. Hopefully we'll get something great that I can show you later. All right, I'm gonna go after both of these targets again. I'm gonna go after Markarian's chain. I think I do have the equipment to, to get a really good photograph of that. And I'm also gonna go after the Pinwheel Galaxy again. I think my problem last time was that I had a sky pollution filter on there, and I think that cut down on a lot of the data I was getting. So I'm gonna go back after the Pinwheel Galaxy. At the end of this season, I'm gonna love shooting galaxies as much as I love shooting deep sky nebulas. At least I hope I do. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming along with me today.